In this video, we will unpack the design elements of the Celera Phantom 3500. It's an extraordinary aircraft being engineered to reduce the consumption over a thousand nautical mile trip by an astonishing 61%. It aims to do that by achieving laminar flow over the aircraft, which is considered the holy grail of aviation. A technique that makes an aircraft so slippery that it almost disappears from a drag standpoint. Our story begins in the 1970s. The Belanca Aircraft Corporation was producing their very first all-composite plane with a thin fiberglass skin, a bold move at the time. Also included in their plan was the use of NACA 632215 airfoil for wings. This airfoil shape was from the controversial NACA 6 series of airfoils that were designed to retain natural laminar flow over the wings at high speeds. Interestingly, the P-51 Mustang had also made use of an airfoil from the 6 series and had shown remarkable performance, yet many aerodynamicists were skeptical in associating the high numbers with laminar flow. At the time, in military aircraft, metal wing components were assembled with rivets. Engineers argued that even flush rivets while an improvement were enough to make the airflow over much of the wing surface turbulent. Additionally, laminar flow airfoils were seen as having poor low speed performance and undesirable stall characteristics. As a result, the 6 series airfoils were rarely adopted. But Belanca Aircraft Corporation had other ideas. They would go on to produce a prototype called the Skyrocket 2. At first glance, this prototype looked like just another iteration of their trademark monoplane low-wing design. But this time, the body was smooth, seamless, and slick as it was made of composites. When the Skyrocket 2 took to the skies, it was fast. How fast, one may ask? Well, it broke five world airspeed records for piston aircraft in its class. Three still stand today. Interestingly, Little did Belanca know that this aircraft, unfortunately, was the final model they would ever design. The downturn in the civil aviation market snuffed out any chances of it being mass-produced. But there was a silver lining. The aircraft had caught the eye of NASA. It was acquired and studied for Natural Laminar Flow, or NLF for short. NASA confirmed the presence of laminar flow as the main factor that boosted the aircraft performance. Presence of laminar flow was even ascertained in the aircraft's slipstream. Despite the huge benefits, the adoption of laminar flow technology in aircraft remained experimental. In the early 2000s, the story resurfaced. The Honda Jet demonstrated the benefits of partial laminar flow on select surfaces, offering superior performance and proving that laminar flow could move from experimental to practical technology. Fast forward to the 2010s and auto aviation picked up the mantle. Their concept, the Celera 500L, was a strikingly unconventional aircraft. The prolate spheroid fuselage shape, the high aspect ratio wings, and tail prop all were unique design choices for natural laminar flow for a six passenger aircraft. Several test flights were conducted and data was obtained. The Celera 500L set out to achieve 59% drag reduction. Whether this goal was achieved was not confirmed. The company did not go ahead with the 500L production, which was rather disappointing for aviation enthusiasts. But auto aviation did come out with a more robust and refined solution in the form of the Celera Phantom 3500. In this new aircraft, many features of the 500L were retained while addressing the critical limitations of the old design. For example, the aerodynamic prolate spheroid fuselage shape was kept. There were no windows like the predecessor, and the seamless composite body was also retained. Let's explore what was changed and why the changes were necessary, particularly to aid laminar flow. But at first, we have to understand an important aerodynamic principle. Laminar flow is more difficult to maintain at lower altitudes than at higher altitudes. This is because the Reynolds number directly increases with the density of air 
and is inversely related to the viscosity. At higher altitudes, the density of air decreases and the viscosity of air increases. The lower the temperature of air, the more sharply viscosity increases. Such is the propensity of maintaining laminar flow at high altitude that even turbulence caused by bug splats is suppressed. In the paper titled Flight Research on Laminar Flow by NASA Engineers, it was ascertained that the Reynolds number decreases dramatically as the altitude increases at constant Mach number. For example, an airplane flying at Mach 0.8 at 40,000 feet experiences the same Reynolds number as a sail plane flying at about 140 knots indicated airspeed at 10,000 feet. Therefore, the ability of flying at altitudes of 50,000 feet, where the temperature is about minus 56 degrees centigrade, is a necessary requirement for flying fast with laminar flow and to be able to compete with aircraft like the Cessna Citation CJ-3 or Beechcraft King Air 350. In the Celera 500L, Auto Aviation had used the red AO3 internal combustion engine. In the Phantom, it has been replaced with two FJ44 4A turbofan engines. This change allows the Phantom to fly faster at higher altitudes. Why? Because as the air gets thinner, not only it gets difficult to aspirate the internal combustion engine, but it is also difficult to cool it. The intake of a very large volume of air is required. In the Celera 500L, it was done through the large inlet scoops at the rear which compromised the aerodynamics. The use of turbofan engines meant that those scoops were no longer required and the fuselage shape remained clean. Furthermore, the FJ44 4A engines have the lowest specific fuel consumption in its class. The fuselage of the Phantom is also larger. The 500L had a cabin volume of 448 cubic feet, while the Phantom boasts a capacity of 800 cubic feet. The high aspect ratio wings of the Celera 500L were also replaced with wider conventional wings. Although high aspect ratio wings are aerodynamically more efficient, the Phantom is a heavier aircraft compared to the 500L. And therefore, to decrease the wing loading, larger wings were used. The Phantom's wing features a 23 degree sweep and a leading edge slot. According to auto aviation, this creates a subtle vacuum effect that helps sustain laminar flow across nearly 85% of the wing's upper surface and nearly 100% of the lower surface, even at Mach 0.8. This results in over 90% of the wing remaining in laminar flow. It's the precise combination of sweep angle, wing shape, and slot geometry that enables this near re-laminarization towards the trailing edge. As Otto puts it, when a wing maintains that much laminar flow, it practically disappears from a drag standpoint. The aircraft maintains a high L by D ratio of 14. This also allows the aircraft to utilize shorter runways. The empennage of the Phantom is also different. The Celera 500L had an empennage reminiscent of an airship. Alongside the horizontal stabilizer and vertical fins, it had a ventral fin. In the Phantom, this has been replaced with a conventional detail, improving the aerodynamics because of reduced surface area. The Phantom 3500 aims to reduce fuel consumption by 61% over a 1000 nautical mile flight, which will be a remarkable leap forward. The Phantom 3500 is expected to enter service by 2030. We will keep you abreast with its development. And with this, the video is concluded. If you learned something from it, then please do give it a thumbs up. Thank you for your attention.